to March 11th. Are there any uh, additions or corrections to those minutes as mailed? Discussion? Those in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Uh, item number two, discussion and approval of the claims. Move it. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? Those in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Human resources, memorandum of personnel transactions. I'll pass that around for signatures. We only have one uh, person on here, so. Move it. Second. There's discussion? For the memorandum, hearing none. Those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Thank you. Uh, auditor's report, uh, we have approval of received the signatures for a liquor license for Bronson Volunteer Fire Department. Move it. Second. I assume they're a, yeah, they're a nonprofit. You know, they, they, I, I assume they'd be a nonprofit. Uh, any further discussion? It's only five days. Yeah, five days. Oh. Uh, those in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. Okay, thank you. Item number five, uh, Dennis, you've got the uh, proposal for contracts. Yep, this is our contractor due on a yearly basis with his company here, Cost Advisory Services Incorporated. We've done this for the last several years. So it's just basically a renewal of their contract. It does. They do the study where we do get us indirect federal government reimbursements. Their fee is $6,750. And I believe Joshua has reviewed this, recommended a couple changes that I think they did follow. So the county turns out has reviewed this agreement and we ask to the, be approved. Okay. I there, love it. Is there a second? Second. Okay, discussion. Those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, this next one is not a time set uh, item, and it's an authorization for a loan agreement of insurance agreement of $965,000, uh, general obligation loan, uh, uh, Woodbury County State. Uh, Dennis, you, is, is that for you to present us on? Oh, just to set the date on it. We're going to set the date here. This is, even though it says $965,000, we're going to borrow $845,000. And should that be there. should that number be corrected no, then? No, you, you can leave the number there. Should that's that set the, the maximum. That's the maximum. Yes. Okay. And all you're doing is setting a date here to have the public hearing that we can go out and get the money borrowed. He has done out the bid on the interest rates. Uh, the, the, the winning bid was the Security National Bank and their rate. Is what bank was that, Mike? Security National. Oh, Security. Uh -huh. And uh, their rate was 1.42%, uh, <laughs> which tells you why we can't get the money out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, we're setting the hearing date. Yes. In what time? Um, the March. We didn't put one in there. Yeah, we the first, first week in uh, April. April, I think we got to got to have it published. In right. Well, you give us a date, we'll make a motion. Yep. Okay. Um, hang on, nothing. We'll get there. April 1st. April 1st is the Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, that's right. April, April, April Fool's Day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we set the public hearing for April 1st at 10.05. Okay. Okay, we have a motion to set the April 1st date for uh, the hearing um, at 10.05. Any further discussion? Those in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. Thank you. That takes care of our improvements this current year. Yeah, okay. Well, no one next year. All right, very good. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, item seven, secondary roads. Mark Neri. I think I can keep you busy to our design time, so. Okay. things completely out of the stack yet. Take your time, you get plenty of it. <laughs> More time than money. <laughs> okay, our first uh, item on the agenda is the consideration of a contract with uh, Beanster and Kim Incorporated, and this is for pipeline inspection on the CF Industries project. They're bringing across a new 20-inch 
natural gas pipeline uh, from Nebraska to serve the plant facility. Uh, work is scheduled to start um, any day now. They're awaiting uh, minor uh, approval from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, and then they'll be ready to start within 48 hours of that. Okay. Um, VNK is doing this on an hourly basis. Um, basically, we cover the initial cost. It, it's a pass through and a, uh, a reimbursement to our funds uh, in Woodbury County. The, the ultimately the uh, cost is paid for by the pipeline company. Move it. The second. Second. Discussion. Now, what, the, what is the purpose? Is it a gas pipeline? Um, it, it's a 20 inch uh, natural gas pipeline that will be supplying the uh, natural gas necessary for the uh, operation of the fertilizer plant. Yeah, that's that's huge. These people are doing uh, uh, <coughs> oversight. What, what the function of the uh, pipeline inspection is anytime you have a large scale pipeline coming into a county. It's required to be inspected by state law. The Board of Supervisors is responsible for uh, doing that. It, it, what it's about is land protection. Uh, this is assuring that the pipeline company, as they're doing their excavation work for the trench, is repairing any tile lines that are damaged, that they're properly oh. uh, placing the soil and separating the topsoil from the uh, uh, rest of the excavated material, and then they, that they place it back into the uh, trench properly so that the land drains and it's restored to productivity as quickly as possible. So this is primarily under the river? Um, most of it is under the river. They're coming about, uh, well, it's a little over three quarters of a mile into the plant property from, from where it crosses. So. Yeah, by the time where the actual pumping station is. Do they bore that under the river? Yes. Yep. Okay, any further discussion? Those in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Very good, that's a huge, huge development. Uh, item B. Our next item on the agenda is the uh, agreement with the Iowa Department of Transportation for connecting our side roads uh, to the new Highway 20 grading project. Um, there will be grade changes as, as part of the work with four laning 20 from Mobile to Minnesota Avenue. That's our county road L25, which is straight south of Pearson. Uh, the project had originally been planned to go all the way to the west city limits of Correctionville. That portion from Minnesota Avenue to Correctionville is now going to be a separate project in 2016. What's happened there is they've come across some cultural resources. There was an Indian village and a burial area there. Um, they're limited very much now to uh, just the center line portion of the road and right of way that they currently own. So all the work has to occur within that very narrow corridor. In 2016, that road will be closed completely to traffic. Um, one of the next things that will be coming before the board and they're just starting design on this now is that they're going to be requesting the use of our county road L21 and that's to the uh, um, south. south. Well this is back a couple of miles west. This is where we come down to the, uh, is it Rock Creek Church? Rock Branch Church. So the road that comes down to that Rock Branch intersection and then Highway 20 from there all the way east to Highway 31 uh, will be improved in 2015 on the DOT's dime. Mm -hmm. This is so that they can use it as a temporary primary road while they're doing <coughs> that closed section in 2016. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also connected to that work will be the construction of the new Highway 31 on the west side of Correctionville. Mm -hmm. So Highway 31 is now coming straight south between our county road L36 where we built the Russ Dixon Bridge. I think at least three of you were on the yeah. board when we did that one. Um, so where our farm to market road comes south to Highway 20, mm -hmm. that will continue now as Highway 31 down to existing 31. Um, 
That portion of Highway 31 that's now within Correctionville on the southern end of the city will be transferred as a city street to Correctionville. And then half of the road as it runs along the south city limits will be transferred to the city, half will be transferred to the county. Um, along with taking over that road, the DOT is giving us a payment of, it's going to, going to be just shy of $66,000 which is essentially the cost of a four inch overlay on the road plus patching. This agreement will be coming before you um, in the next two weeks. Um, we've negotiated that with DOT. The cost is very fair for taking care of one lane of road a half a mile long. Um, and then the city's payment is going to be in excess of $400,000 because they're getting everything that comes down through the center of town. And that's, that's a one-time payment to, you, to us and also, payment to us and and also the city. The city. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the transfer agreement. Um, we'll need to bring that road into the farm to market system once the transfer occurs. That transfer again occurs sometime in the, at near the end of 2015. 31, you're talking about? Yes. Is the city of Crescentville aware of this plan that you just described, Mark? Yes, they are. They are, so. Yeah, they've been in the same loop that we have been. Um, uh, Tony Lazarovich will be available to come to the meeting if you would like to have him here. He's the District 3 DOT engineer um, when we discuss that transfer agreement. It'll be the recommendation of our department that we uh, agree to the proposed transfer and that we take over jurisdiction of that road. It'll maintain the continuity of our farm to market system. And again, the, uh, the uh, transfer of money to take care of that portion is generous, to say the least. So, Well, I, I think we would probably want him to come just to make the general presentation as you've done it and uh, so that everybody's aware of what uh, is happening down there, particularly with, uh, with Highway uh, 20 in the, in the four-lane interstate there. So um, that would be good. Well, it's, it, it's going to be a change, and I think it'll be a welcome change for, for the city not to have a lot of trucks rumbling right through the center of town all the time. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, that's Old Correctional Road, isn't it? Yes, Highway 20 is Old Correctionville Road. I thought we redid that a couple years ago. We did. Uh, it was a little more than a couple, but um, the problem that the DOT yes, has... Yes, it does when you're having fun. Primary standards require a 13-foot wide lane. Our lanes out there are not 11 feet. So they'll be doing a pavement widening. Um, they'll be making some inter improvements at the intersection of L21. Uh, That's just to get around because they're going to shut the road down. Right? Correct. But they're doing an additional two miles to get over to L21. Um, they deemed it the better way to go than to try and regrade the intersection at the south end of Minnesota Avenue. That's that one you come down a steep hill and it makes a big trumpet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so they've decided to come over by the Rock Ranch Church instead. Okay. Um, it's a very flat intersection, a very good sight distance, uh, meets all their criteria. Yep. They could have spent uh, half a million dollars just doing that one intersection <laughs> at uh, L25. Easily, yep. And I think they did some value engineering and went along with my recommendation, which was to uh, use the intersection to the west. Well, is there a motion to consider approval of this pre-construction agreement? Move it. Is there a second? Second. Now, did he miss anything? We heard all of this last <laughs> Friday. <laughs> <laughs> um, any further discussion? Those in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay, Mark, we have the other one. Uh, Bureau of Utilities Permit. Yes, um, this one I approved administratively a couple of weeks ago because we had an individual who was uh, who had lost their phone service, who had a uh, medical alert system online with this. So um, it was important that they return them to service within 48 hours. Yeah. And uh, but uh, what the uh, project was, it's up near the county line off of K22. This is actually on the north side of Sioux City. And uh, it was proposed to uh, start at an existing pedestal, bore a new line across Highway K-22. I recommend approval. Move it. Discussion? Those in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same side. Okay, item uh, 
These consideration of the uh, plan for the uh, Bronson Bridge yes. replacement. This is uh, um, for the June letting, June 17th, 2014. Uh, this is a federal aid project utilizing city bridge funds. So Bronson brought 80% of the money for this project to the table. We'll be replacing the narrow uh, restricted bridge on the southwest corner of town by the park. We'll be replacing approach pavement both uh, uh, southerly and northerly of the bridge. The north side of the bridge, we're coming back all the way to the intersection with the Bronson blacktop. Uh, we'll be replacing that narrow bridge that's right at the intersection with box culvert that'll take away all the surface rails and such that, uh, well, they cause us a three or four time a year uh, uh, maintenance headache when they get knocked down during farm equipment hauling uh, there it's it's just a very narrow bridge right now our intent <coughs> is to salvage the bridge sections that are at that intersection right now uh, they're very clean precast sections but we don't have no way of widening that bridge so we'll be replacing it with the box again the advantage of the box being that you've got no impediments with surface traffic you have a full width shoulder it'll be a very nice improvement to that intersection uh, with getting the radiuses uh, adjusted there. Um, total project cost, um, we have a uh, million dollars in federal aid plus 250,000 county farm to market money. Uh, in return for the city bringing the city bridge money to us, we're covering the match, doing all the construction and design engineering at our expense. How many okay. bridges we got going this summer? I uh, let me think here. <laughs> we should have uh, three that will be coming up for letting in April and May. Um, Michigan Avenue is just about ready to go. That'll be our next bridge off the pipe. This is just South County Road D38. We graded the, the dirt road to the south of there to provide the residents a way in and out while we're doing that bridge. Uh, we bought the precast sections for the bridge last fall. Uh, the board signed a contract for them and they're, they're built waiting in the yard for the contract to get going. We're building the bridge on Pocahontas Avenue. That'll be the first one that we have with our new money, uh, 1.3 million. Uh, bridge on 185th Street. Um, I can't remember the bridge number on it. That'll be our next one coming in May. It's currently getting its Corps of Engineers approval right now. So we should see that in another three to four weeks. And we'll be able to finish structural plans on it. Um, we have a bridge down on County Road D53 that's also a federal aid project. See, that gets us up to five. And, well, we have two in this project because both of these are considered bridges. Um, that gets us to six with that. Um, we're looking at bridge P6, which is that little truss bridge. Uh, south of Moville, straight west of where we have the jog in County Road D38, where the Anthem Blacktop comes to the intersection, you keep going west there. It's that area that serves that little uh, acreage. Uh, that's the bridge that's on the three month reinspection cycle right now. Um, that one we're going to be acquiring right of way and then grading the dirt road going to the north to get those folks in and out. Um, that's seven. Um, I think we've got two more. There's one up on 120th Street that uh, is just about done and ready to go in for Corps of Engineers permits. We're looking at between eight and 10 this summer, depending on how the contractor's schedules go. It'll be busy. It will busy. be, mm -hmm. along with all the paving that we're doing as well. The letting is today for our D51 project. Good. That's the, uh, from the Port Neal interchange to Port Neal Road. That's fantastic. That's good. So we'll see what the uh, what the bids come in on that. that one is. Absolutely be interesting. And our railroad crossing improvement project is moving along really well. Um, they finally have the standards up. So uh, you know pretty soon they've got the bottom of the gate arms up. Uh, they don't have the lights hooked up yet so looks like the next phase is to get the electricity going. So good. All that right. one's uh, that one's moving as well. Motion um, to approve the bridge. Is there a second? Second. All right, good. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Any further discussion? Yeah. Yeah, we're right on time. Those in favor of the motion to indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay, uh, we have the uh, quotes on the corrugated metal pipe letting. Looks like we have. Uh, uh, 
four bids. First one is from Contact Engineered Solutions of Ankeny, Iowa. Contact was our supplier last year. <coughs> this does include some, some special pipe. We've ordered almost 3,000 lineal feet of 18 inch pipe. Usually we don't stock 18. This is to do some pullouts for safety purposes on the haul roads in the CF Industries area. Um, CF will be paying for those as if they were driveways. Wow. They're supplying all the uh, dirt for it. Um, we're doing the uh, labor and compaction and, and uh, we're, we're charging them for the pipe and the gravel. Uh, the uh, quotation from Contact is $76,000. Six hundred sixty-four dollars and seventy-eight cents. Seven six 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 four seventy-eight. Our next bid is from Illawa Culvert and Supply of Lomore, Iowa. What does that mean? Pardon? What does that mean? Illawa, I L L O W A. Kind of a combination of Iowa and Illinois. They're over by Clinton, and their total bid for uh, all pipe is 120,852, 120,852. Our next bid is from True Steel North of St. Paul, Minnesota. Their total bid is $78,417.40. Our final bid is from Metal Culverts Incorporated of Jefferson City, Missouri. <coughs> Their total bid is seventy-seven thousand two hundred eighteen dollars and twenty-six cents. Seven seven two one eight twenty-six. You need to think about this. Um, I just want to take a real fast look at their math here. It's a six hundred dollar difference between the uh, high and the low. But it appears as though in their unit prices. Let's uh, remand them to the county and allow us to analyze the bids. Is it mo mo okay, a motion to refer to the engineer's office in a second for uh, recommendation? Uh, any further discussion? Those in favor, any keep us saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, nobody would. Uh, would uh, like to get this going more than I would, especially to get those 18 inches headed my way, but I already see a mistake on the low bid on, uh, on one of the uh, carryover items. Oh, you so. do? Okay. Okay. Um, well, Mark, would you be able to read the yeah. one, two, three more items? Oh, hi, Emily. Hi, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Which ones do you want to hear again? If you could just give the, line, the one, two, and three totals. Four. Um, what they show is fourteen ninety nine per lineal feet for the twenty four inch culvert. Special pipes show twenty thousand oh ninety one forty as a lump sum, and then the number they carried over was twenty two thousand oh ninety one forty. So there's a two thousand dollar bus there. Uh, their special pipe for the bottom was a sixty five hundred and seventy five dollar and forty cent lump sum. So again, where I spot the error is in item number two, and uh, 
we'll need to get a clarification on that. Okay. Very good. I think that's uh, all I've got, unless you want to hear more about uh, projects. We'll have the contract for our asphalt job. It was returned Friday, so I didn't have a chance to get it in on the board agenda. I don't have a starting date yet and until the contract is approved by DOT. We can't talk to the contractors, so. Um, yeah. But we'll be bringing that before you next week. Very Anything good. new on the Orton Sloop? Um, not much. We're just, uh, our consultant's just preparing for the uh, hearing next week. Uh, did the board still want to take the tour um, next Tuesday after the board session? I think so. That's what Is, you if that, discussed. Yeah, I think that's be just fine with all of us unless there's some, some changes. Yeah. Okay. Um, the uh, DNR has been very helpful to us in, uh, in looking at uh, um, doing some soil loss calculations to see what the sediment load coming off of the Orton into Browns Lake is. Unfortunately, they aren't able to get that done <coughs> in advance of this 26th meeting, but we should have that information prior to the formal hearing. Um, you know, we don't think we've got a huge sediment load coming that way. Everything's so flat, it isn't like we have a lot of opportunity for the, for the runoff and runoff to build momentum in and there. really take a lot of right. dirt like it can, you know, in the lot, up in the last hills. So um, that's not to say that some uh, soil doesn't move along with it, right. but uh, it isn't as huge as as what it is when we get into the larger areas. Uh, we will we are checking with the NRCS to see if they have any soil loss complaints in excess of allowable down in that area. Uh, again, we really don't believe that there's a lot of that going on. Down. I don't know where it would go. Well, that's the thing. It, it's very hard to get it to leave the land. We can barely get it to flow off the land as it is. So, <laughs> Still flat. Yeah. Getting the water moving is difficult enough. So, but uh, um, there, is, there is a strong area. view in the, in the opposite of that, though. That we've got a lot coming their way. <laughs> I'm aware of that. Um, we did, uh, I have had uh, the opportunity to visit with Mid-American. Um, Mid-American, as you know, was proposed as an alternative outlet. Um, they've mentioned, well, uh, one individual has mentioned the possibility of taking the runoff to New Lake. Mid-American calls it Horseshoe Lake. Um, that would be their watershed that's, uh, you can see it as you drive around Port Neal Circle. Mm -hmm. um, Mid-American is not interested in taking on any more water, and it's not a water quality issue for them, it's a water quantity issue. Mm -hmm. um, Mid-American has some sluice ponds that lay just upstream of where Horseshoe Lake lies. Right. When they wash their, backwash their bottom ash in their boilers, mm -hmm. it's dumped into that area, and then it's dewatered mm -hmm. to allow that bottom ash to be landfilled. If more water comes into that system and fills New Lake, then New Lake backfills into their sluice ponds, mm -hmm. which is absolutely what they don't want to see. They get enough yeah. water, I was informed already, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, even if it were feasible to carry that water an additional mile and a quarter to New Lake, um, the, uh, the uh, company is not interested in seeing that because of the potential interference with their operations. Yeah. I can understand that. Anything else, Mark? That's all I really have. For okay. Today. Very good. Good Thank report. You very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Great. Item eight is hearing of uh, any individual or group wishing to make a presentation to the board on an item not on the agenda. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's dropped some, so that's that's a good <laughs> thing. Uh, any other items? And I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Okay. Okay.